Okay, before we start, so this is one of the pieces I made. This should be the front piece. You cannot see it clearly, but I have made around 66 rows of half double crochet. And now I'm starting the back side and I'm going to show you how I made it. So I hope you can see. So I'm using 3.5 millimeter hook. And I'm using a uh, Alize Bella. It's the first time I think I used it. no second time I used this yarn, and it's very thin yarn as you can see. It's like uh, it's like the sewing a little thicker than a sewing thread, but it's nice and light for uh, garments like sweaters and all for spring and summer. So here I make the magic loop. And I pull through and as usual I'll make a number of chain here I'm gonna make 100 so I'll put the link in the description box for uh, crochet basics means the how to make a chain and how to make a magic loop also how to make a half double crochet so basically for this one I'm gonna show you the finished pieces together which is the second piece after this and then i'll make the uh, arms which will be two pieces and then we'll go in details with the uh, appliques of the pineapple uh, which we're gonna stitch in the sweater so stay tuned uh, i'll come back and show you uh, once we come to attach the sweater together and we make the appliques Okay, so here are my pieces finished, just ready to, all being stitched to make the sweater or the top. Okay, so let me explain before we start sewing or stitching everything together. <clears throat> so these are the two pieces, the back and the front. I have made the front slightly smaller. So these are the two pieces what i'm gonna do is start stitching this way from the front uh, from the sides okay and coming into the collar so i'm gonna start sewing from here and i'll leave the opening of the collar depending uh, each one how uh, much or uh, how big you want the opening to be you leave the the uh, the opening depending how bigger the opening you want it to be so stitching from here inside and then we'll start sewing the arms together and finally we're gonna place the pineapples in the top that's it so if you want to see stay tuned for the rest and we'll see the final result together okay so here I have a leftover thread from my project from the ones I used for this sweater. Okay. So I'm gonna make my thread equal here. So this is the first stitch from this side and this is the first one from this side. Okay. What I'm gonna do is start insert my needle over here okay patiently and join it over here into this first one from the other top okay and i'm gonna secure both sides first okay so again Make sure you hold the other end so it doesn't come out and then put your needle through the round or the circle to secure the thread together. Now you can work the rest. Uh, 
I'm sure because it's black you can see but just uh, follow the explanation I'm giving you so we said I'm gonna stitch 20 I'm gonna uh, sew 20 of these V's or 20 of these stitches on each side 20 here okay each side make 20 so I'll insert my needle again the way I did it in under the V stitches And 20 and we secure again okay so these are 20 stitches secured we can go through back through the stitches to secure the thread so it doesn't open later on okay and we'll do the same on the other side 20 okay so here I have finished stitching this side and also I have done this side this is the uh, reverse and this is the front one how it will look like once you wear it so this is how it is so far and now I'm gonna start with the arms so for that I would lay my piece flat like so okay And I've got my arms here, the arms actually, not my arms. So previously for the arms, arms which uh, I already finished, I have left a long thread for the purpose of sewing. <coughs> So before we go any further, let me explain. I did 30 rows for uh, both uh, sides of the arm. So I did again the half double crochet. I chained, I think it was 50 or 60. I'm not sure anymore. You'll find it in the uh, blog post where you'll find the written pattern. And then at the end, I left this long stitch, a uh, long uh, thread. So I'm gonna stitch uh, on the side. So, what I'm going to do now, I will just define first the center of these arms. Means I'll fold it into two, like so. Okay. And then I will mark it with a stitch marker. So, to know where is this center, so I can join it to the body and bringing back my top okay so I place it in the center to know how I'm gonna stitch everything together and the sewing you can do a slip stitch uh, with a crochet hook or you can uh, use a sewing needle to do the work it's absolutely up to you and then okay I will just join the stitch marker to my center here so I don't lose track if my piece starts moving so here it is okay so I'll join <coughs> to the bigger piece I hope you can see okay 
and then I'll start the stitching. It's nothing special about the stitching, it's just joining the pieces together. So basically what you need to know is how to define the middle where you need to uh, put the arms for both sides and then the normal stitching and then I will come back to show you the final result and to go to the next step which is the pineapple. So now I have finished stitching the arms uh, into the body and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish stitching this side of the top and then I'll come back with a new thread and I'll stitch the side of the arm to finish off uh, for both. Yeah, the stitching is absolutely the same, uh, nothing different and this is how it looks. You can see this is the front side, the uh, right side. Okay, so I'll finish stitching all the sides and then again, as I said, we'll come back and do the pineapples. Okay, so here now I finished sewing, uh, stitching the uh, sides and the arms and uh, I started already with the first pineapple. I stitched already one, as you can see, and I'm doing the rest. So I'll show you how I'm stitching the pineapples in the top or the sweater okay using a sewing needle uh, if you have seen uh, the previous video I posted on how to make this uh, pineapple applique or else I'll show you quickly uh, in this video after stitching how to make one so I left one long thread for the sewing purpose so now I will place my pineapple where I want okay and I'll insert my sewing needle under and then place it in the green leaf then inside my top and pass it through the black thread and the leaves making rounds like invisibly like you see now okay and again like so and all under the pineapple so the sewing you cannot see the sewing. Okay. And you can see how it is on the opposite side. Well, excuse me for the noise it's I'm filming during the day and it's uh, there is constructions outside and that's it I'll pull it back I'll hide it here and I'll cut my thread so it is invisible and 
my second pineapple is completed you can see it's attached to the top and this is the back side okay so I'll finish the rest of my uh, pineapples and I'll show you the final result so this is the final look of the kneaded uh, or crushed it top the uh, same or similar to Zara and these are the pineapples on top I still have to do more pineapples for the arms as well because the number I did which is 30 was not enough these are a uh, little smaller than the actual Zara ones as they made big pineapples for the top and this is the final look i'll try and insert a picture wearing the sweater so you can see it clearly and that's it i hope you like this easy tutorial and you'll try it and let me know what you think take care bye bye